are back here again with your self-proclaimed best internet girl, Carmilla. We are going to continue where we left off of the previous game, which is this train too. In the last game, our character stuck in the limbo and he's healing bit by bit. But what happens after that? Okay, Kent, let's just jump right to it and start the game. What's that? Examined. I think I can get into that room if I move the couch. Okay. Let's move the couch. And into here. What's this? A television. What's that? Oh! We're supposed to lay the piece. Um, a rose! Okay. Yes, we got it. I'm the darkness boy. Fear me. Go away. What happened with that rose? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's that? Oh. There's a door! What's this? Still stop? Out of orders! Someone needs to fix... <laughs> What's up with my eyes? Someone needs to fix the machine in the reception room. Okay. What the... Well, that was original. Not! Okay, there's something here I could use. This crack will be useful. I'm sure of it. Okay, done. That there's something funny about those curtains. Are those numbers? Examined. It's a machine of some kind. Can we use the crank? Okay. Let's see if the crank fits here. A perfect match. Six four nine. It was fun, but I already turned the crank. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's hope. I, I mean, it's reasoned. Hello, reasoned. Why are you here? Hey. What's up? You wanna talk? You wanna talk? Yeah. Here. I see you've taken step. <coughs> Let me. Try another voice. I see you've taken steps towards finding yourself again. Towards finding hope. What choice do I have? Everything is in your hands. You keep questioning the purpose behind your journey and existence. But every step you take fills you with silent light. Can you please stop being so poetic and speak plainly so I understand? I'm merely pointing you in the right direction. See, I cannot tell you what is what. Realization must come from within. Only you can do it and no one else. Yeah, I think I understand. This place must wake some painful memories in you, am I right? Yeah, Mrs. Goodwin. Good, you shouldn't confuse agony with malice. He is a part of you and plays a role in all of this. Give yourself a chance. Give hope a chance. I'll try. Thank you for the encouragement, Reason. Thank you for listening to me. He went away. Waddle, waddle, waddle. He went away. Uh. 
Let's examine. Oh, it's the wheelchairs. What's that? I guess it's six four nine. Yes. It's correct. And the here. What's this room? Oh. Let's go to the basement. What do you think you're doing? She's coming for you. Show yourself. What a what a what a. <gasps> what is that? What, what what is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Where should we go? Hide. What is that thing? Oh my god, I'm freaking out. What is this? E5 F sharp 5 Those are notes, I'm sure of it Examined His long gun You can tell by its smell Sorry. E5 F sharp 5 Let's go to the basement Wait, I don't understand. Where should we go? Oh, what's that? There's another door. Save fast so you can be safe or whatever. It's there in the dark. What is that? Um, oh. Is it? It's so dark, I can't see. Is that a bird or something? And, oh. Not worthy, fool. Nobody loves you. Be gone and leave me alone. It's starting to open one by one. Is this the correct door? Uh. Um. Try and go to the receptionist. Is there any doors? Oh, there it is. Oh, deception. I 
examined. Look at me, look. Look at me, looting drugs. <laughs> oh, what's up with me? Look at me, looting drugs. Surely this trench will come in use. More free stuff here. Oh, hi! I put some medicine in your irrelevant. No need to explain yourself. Okay, who are you? Obviously, I'm inspiration. Inspiration? Uh, shouldn't you be, you know, more inspiring? Yeah, maybe I should. But you left me behind a long time ago. We used to work together when you were younger. Playing, pa pi <laughs> playing piano, painting, building stuff. Those are some good memories. I wonder why I stop. Oh, okay, no playmate, you dull boy. Yeah, I suppose. You know, you could use me every now and then. Okay, so what do you have for me? I did write a. S I did write a small tune. It's a bit generic since you never questioned my creation. Anyway, it should help you on your path. Let's hear it then. He's dead again. No more notes, but those marking must mean something. Yes. Got it. That must be the right combination. Oh. Yes, we got it. <gasps> Oh man. Oh man. Oh. It's them. Is this the door? Oh, it's the door with the granny. I pay you my respect. Another one of these puzzles. Okay, what is this? Is this a skull of some sort? Elephant! It's the elephant. Why do you even try? You deserve nothing. You won't last a night. Give up. It's the circle. You deserve everything, boy. Don't give up. You can do this. The door just opened. Oh! Oh no! We need to run! Hide! 
I don't like that at all. happened oh it's mrs. Goodwin mrs. Goodwin no I am forgiveness mrs. Goodwin is the form you gave me but I'm sorry about everything she never blamed you for anything I know but I do I do I'm forgiveness. Let me help you. How? Please, hear me out. There's a reason why you can't forgive yourself. It's all connected. Your past, your parents, how their business was taken away from them. Everything in life molds you. Yeah, and I did the same to Mrs. Goodwind. I took away her home. You've put so much time and energy into regretting what that did. <laughs> that decision. Just why? Regret is all you seem to do. I can't just let it go. I don't think I ever can stop blaming myself. It's like something is stopping me. Maybe there is something more. Maybe you need to find that something. And then in the fears of your journey, Maybe you'll be ready to forgive yourself. I'm not reason, but I advise you to carry on. You're bound to find what you've been looking for. Have faith and you will restore yourself. Oh, it's the therapist man again. Would you tell me what happened after your parents passing? They placed me in an orphanage, where I then grew up. It was okay, I suppose. I made good friends there with a boy called Charlie, although I haven't seen him in ages. Tell me more about it. Well, we were very close, but then when I reached adulthood, I moved to another city to pursue a career from McDade, Britain and more. I do regret not keeping in touch with Charlie. I regret it all. It sounds like you're too hard on yourself. Maybe you shouldn't dwell on the past. But now, I'd like to hear more about the death of your parents. Such tragedy is bound to leave a mark. Nah, uh, it's fine, Doc. I try not to think about it. It's easier that way. Tell me. How did that make you feel? I feel sad, but I was able to shut it away. I got over it surprisingly fast. We all react differently to such loss. But could it be possible you never really perceived their passing? Tell me, did you ever take time to yourself just to mourn? No, not really. But like I said, it's okay, I didn't need to. Mr. Price, I believe you could be suffering from trauma. It sounds like you're still in denial. Instead of processing your loss, you shut it away. Maybe in the silence, it's trauma molding your every decision. I don't believe that's the case, Doc. I mean, I do appreciate your help. Uh, our time seems to be up. Please don't shy away from my words. Give it some thought and who knows what you might find. Oh, he's healing. Epilogue. Hope. It's him. I must be close now. I want to see this through. To make sense to all of this. I saved the game, whatever that means. 
Is it here? Oh, just here. That's agony. Do you really want to do this? You'll never vanquish me. Oh, it's with greed. Let's talk to greed. Boo. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, perfect. It's you again. Hmm. How rude. I'm here to help you out of this shit home. Huh? Your heart right. And how would you do that? Do not underestimate me. There is but one condition. You shall never abandon me. And that's it. If you would just sign the agreement. Oh, I shouldn't. Don't be an idiot. I'm offering you a way out of this torment. What there is even to think about? I suppose you have a point there. Just that. Enough. Signed. Not you again! Silence! Don't sign it! Just think! The journey. Agony. Loss. Forgiveness. Love. Your healing. He hears. Reason and his poetic wisdom. <laughs> Listen to me. You do not need him. Not anymore. But he's offering a way out. Not in a way which you want to go. Trust me this last time. What happened? That's crazy. What did you do? No! Oh, it's Charlie! I'm free at last. What? Well, what's happening? You chose. Thank you. Welcome, Ambition. Oh, it's not Charlie. Ambition. There's a fine line between greed and me. You made the right choice. But without reason, I would have signed. Don't forget that we are all connected. You'll need Ambition once you're out. Out? Was that a little smile on your face? Keep your spirits high. There is still something locked away deep inside. You will need your all to conquer it. Stay strong. You're almost there. Should go back. Is this the right? Oh, it's agony. Prepare yourself. I'll be there. Oh, it's here. It's our parents. Mom. Dad. Hey, son. How are you, honey? I uh, feel more energized. I mean, I must be close now. That's great, honey. Keep going, son. What are you guys doing here? Are you okay? Don't worry about us, son. Your dad is right. You need to focus. Listen. This time we were sent by loss. Huh? You don't want to hear it. But you simply must. Okay, what does he have to say? Loss brings a painful memory. A memory you've locked away? Oh. I'm so sorry, honey. But you have to face it. You're strong. You'll overcome this. I love you both. What do I have to do? Close your eyes and focus. Think of us. But, but boring! All my toes are in their new home already! And I'm hungry!
This is our little soul. There's no food in the oven. And don't we have a fridge? Dad said they'll bring some pizza. I want pizza now. There's nothing there anymore. All the stuff is here in the kitchen. The new home is much smaller. Oh well. I don't know how to tell the time yet. But shouldn't mom and dad be back already? I'm going to eat at least 10 pizzas. Dad says I eat more than a horse. said I shouldn't open doors to strangers. I'll just be quiet. Hey kid, don't be scared. My name is John. I'm from the police. Would you open the door, please? Hey. What's your name, kitty? I, uh... Something happened. I am terribly sorry. But... There was a car accident. Miss mom and dad. I am very sorry. They're both in a better place now. Hey, don't worry. You might not want to hear it, but it's going to be okay. Someone will take good care of you. And before I forget, I was able to retrieve this from the car. I believe this belongs to you. Oh no, I can't. Sasa! There's a ninja cutting onions! What happened? Guilt. I just can't. His parents die. Such a young and innocent child. What's that? What's this? What are you? Oh, I just can't. 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 I can't. Raisin, what the hell is that thing? It's the source of everything in you. Please, stop. Please, plainly, so I can understand. You must finally face it. The dark place inside you that's holding you prisoner. Insecurity. Unworthiness. The source of it all. And here you are. Ready to do so. I don't... Listen to me now. For I am the reason. Tell me. What is that thing? It's... Look closer. the memories we have from our childhood it's trauma yes the source of all things in you but now after all these years you have the chance to overcome it I can't it's too powerful and what's even the point you're on the brink of restoring your soul. 
But how could I ever overcome my loss? By accepting and dealing with me. But with my job, how can I go on? You found me and together we'll rise. I feel empty. How can I become motivated again? Challenge the, my creation. What do I have left to fight for? I'm somewhere out there. Find me. What if things go sour again? I'll be there to comfort you. How can I live with this misery? I exist for a reason. Accept me. How can I live with my fears? My only aim is to keep you out of harm's way. How can I ever forgive myself? Through me. Okay, okay. You see now? You're almost there, but you're missing something. Think. The letter! The letter Charlie gave me! That has to be it! I knew you'd get this far. You've always been determined. But at the same time, your insecurity negated your determination, leaving you exposed. I've been trying to reach you, waiting for the right moment. You're standing on the precipice. Ready to take that leap of fate. Please, let me help you. Courage. Of course, courage. I have all I need. I just can't. Hey, mom and dad. It's okay now. I shouldn't have suppressed my agony. I didn't face my loss. I made some horrible choices in my life. I never understood why. But I do now. I think I'm ready to restore hope. I've been searching high and low. But I can't seem to find what I'm looking for. And yet all of this must hold a purpose. I've been let hear my reason. If you're all there, please somehow help me. Son, mom? Dad, it is time. What do you mean? I don't understand. Your light, let it shine from within. Welcome back. For you've been missed. Hope. What? what? We're all connected. We are now complete. I, uh, can you see it now? We are a thought. We are his last hope. A journey in the blink of an eye. Please, hurry. No one else can stop him but you. It all depends on you. What do I need to do? You know what to do. Why is he walking so slow? <laughs> oh. We are stop him now. Stop. Stop. I'm here. There's so much to see. Don't do it.
Because you, someone must have heard the shotgun. <laughs> hey, hey, is everything all right? Oh, that voice sounds familiar. Everything is okay. I'm coming in just to make sure, okay? Oh, okay. Oh, it's her, the red hat. Oh my. What did you... I... I was going to... But something... Hey... Calm down, please. It's okay. My name is Jen. I just moved here a couple of days ago. Oh. My name is Cassie. Oh. We finally know his name. It's Cassie. It's nice to meet you, Cassie. Oh, you too, Jen. And thanks for checking on on me. I'm sorry, I'm such a mess. Don't worry about it. Do you want to talk about it? Oh, there's a good cafe nearby. That is, if you like coffee. I love coffee. Alright then, let's go. But this is beautiful. <laughs> That's the ending. This game is truly beautiful. I just, I can't. I cried. <laughs> it's just that tough things happen in life. But there's always a silver lining to it. And it's Nice to know that he finally find the courage, the hope. He's finally forgiving his past self and moving towards a better version of him. There's always a second chance for everyone. And I really love to see that life is not just about all the good stuff that happened there's some bitterness to it it's so wholesome to see he can just go and wrap himself up and find Jenny. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful ending. And I'll edit the video here. Please don't forget to support the author, author developer. Don't forget. <laughs> I'm crying. Don't forget to support the author, the creator of the game. And stay safe. Wear a mask. Bye!